Okay, hey everybody. So, welcome to my Monday Masters of Makeup. So, this week what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, showing you guys um, how we clean our face. Because obviously since we're makeup artists, we're always putting stuff on our face, even if our face doesn't like it. Like me, I use a lot of different cheap um, makeup. I use very cheap makeup, Halloween makeup, stuff like that. So my face gets very irritated. And since I'm going, I'm still a teenager and going through hormones and whatnot. You know, it's really hard to um, keep my face clean and have no acne. Uh, I have problems with acne usually around my cheeks, is the most part. And right now it's been on my upper lip, but it's been dying down. So I'm looking in the mirror over here, <laughs> trying to tell you where it all is. And so, I'm going to show you what I use to, um, clean my face. I use, um, Clean and Clear's, um, brightening wash in the morning. Um, it works really well. I like it. Uh, it smells really good. Because <laughs> I don't usually like most scents, so it works really well, and... I don't have to get, my nose doesn't have to get irritated by it. And then what I use next is I use Clean and Clear's uh, Essentials Deep Cleaning as Turgent. As Turgent. It is this, this little bottle thing. And it treats and helps prevent pimples. And I really like it because in three days, usually my acne is gone. Like my big old cysts that I usually get on my chin and all that. I have like two right here. Um, I put this on it and they're now dying down. They used to be like huge. Now they're like, I need a little change. So, yeah. Um, what I usually do is I usually take my cotton balls. Or you can use a, you can use a, a cotton swab too if you want. Uh, if it's not like all over like mine is. If it's just like little spots, you can just take it and put it on. And, yeah, you do it three coat, light coats a day. So, like, before breakfast, before dinner, um, before lunch, and before bed. Quite easy. You shouldn't have your makeup on for that long, too. So, yeah. Um, then after that, after this dries, I usually let it dry for about hmm, 10 to 20 minutes give or take. I usually use dual action moisturizer. It's oil free and it also helps uh, at, it helps treats and helps prevent pimples and moisturize dry skin. Um, usually dry like if, even if you're oily skin you can use this because your acnes do get um, dry. So if you put this just directly on the pimple and not all over your face it will work. And, um, also for, uh, oily skin, if you're still afraid to use moisturizers, I use all skin types, um, don't even want to try pronouncing that word, moisturizer, it's very light, and it's for all skin types, and I really, really enjoy this. I used to hate moisturizers, because I thought, oh my gosh, I, my T-zone is already oily, why would I put moisturizer on it? It's just going to make it worse. Nope, I was wrong. I was completely wrong. And, yeah, I usually sometimes even put extra on my pimple or use cocoa butter on my pimple. Just so it doesn't dry over. I do not like it when my pimples are dry. I always make sure that they're nice and smooth. Also, another thing that I do is I take zinc capsules. Um, so I got these at uh, my local grocery store for about 5 bucks for 90 capsules. And uh, they recommended Twin Lab for the best benefits, and it's been growing my hair, it's been growing my lashes, it's been helping my skin a lot. My skin would probably be a lot worse if I did not take this. Uh, you take one every day, and it's really, really well. But um, for me, I knew I'm vegetarian, so I knew taking zinc would help me. But for other people, I would. Ask your doctor before using zinc, because I don't want to be like, oh, go buy zinc tablets, you know, uh -huh. and then you guys get something horrible happen to you. That'd be sad. Um, so always do ask your doctor before you start just taking things, just because they're not 
like it's not uh, something you have you have to get behind counter doesn't mean you should always take it so yeah um also what i wanted to mention was what you put on your skin also affects acne too especially for us who are younger and this is for all people of all ages and all skin types like um where is it i can't wear this makeup at all it's the nyx smooth skin liquid uh makeup because it is my skin hates this like my two concealers two different companies i have cover girls medium beige and nyx cover stick and light i cannot use these two if i put these to cover up my skin my skin will lash out on me and i hate it i put this on my skin and it's fine just not the right skin tone right now so yeah it, you always have to read before you put something on your skin and always test things out too so if you can like test it on the back of your hand and wait a couple of days and see like if it affects you at all or just like wait a couple hours before you purchase it then you know that will work also another thing that most people have been noticing is silicone is that for your face like to put stuff on your face is actually not the best for you so and it's for a lot of people it's not just particular types so always make sure and check the ingredients if you know you're allergic to something so yeah so that's something you learned um also for let's see if let's see if my other buddies will actually watch this video i want you guys to mention three things three or four if you can go with three they'll give you a thumbs up um Three things you could not leave the house without, like makeup wise. Me, I couldn't leave the house without eyeliner, my eyebrows. I have no eyebrows, so yeah, and my mascara. I could be perfectly fine if I just have my eyeliner, my mascara, and my eyeliner. I would love my eyeshadow, but if I could only have three items, I would pick those. So think of three items. Nicole, well, Aaron, Nicole, Tony, and Margaret. Think of three items that you couldn't leave the house without. <laughs> so, this is the end of the video, so I guess I shall be going. Um, I hope what I said was helpful, help some people maybe, and all that. Um, but yeah, everyone has different skin. I just wanted to put my point of view, my skin type out there. So, yeah, uh, do like and uh, subscribe. We will be making videos every week, and I think the next two weeks are going to get very exciting. I'm quite excited. I'm not going to say much more, except for that the fact that I'm it's an old time movie for next week. I'm really excited. I really want to do the makeup here soon. So yeah, I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye.